Chase, what was your favorite thing you did over the off season to prepare for this year? My favorite thing I did over the off season. Man, I'm gonna be honest. I stayed away from baseball in the off season. I, uh, I mean, I would hit in the cage and you know work out pretty much daily. But man, my, my entire focus in the off season was you know stay away, just be mentally like happy to come back and you know physically healthy was the big thing. All right. Chase, how does it feel just a few years ago, you were looking up some of these major league guys, and now you're one of the guys here that everybody's looking forward to talking to? Yeah, no, it's awesome. I mean, it's, it's kind of stuff you don't really like, I don't know, you don't really think about when you're younger. Like, and you always picture this moment, you always picture being around those guys, and once you're actually there around them, it's, it's a little starstruck feeling, I'm not going to lie, but I mean, it's, it's just a ball game. You got to believe you belong and have all the confidence in the world. What's that one moment you've always pictured? Game winning walk off slam, game winning walk off single. Definitely like a, a walk off homer in a World Series game, and then something like that at home would would be probably the most like picture perfect moment to happen. Right. Chase, what's your pre game routine look like? Uh, for me, it kind of varies. Like, kind of depends on the day. You know, if we have on field BP, it's a little bit longer than normal. Like, you know, come in. I'm usually here giving myself about an hour to get ready between stretching and stuff um, before practice starts. Um, and then, you know, go through the pregame BP, whatever's on there for the day. And I'm a big, like, chill out guy. Like, I'll chill, I'll go maybe take a nap or something, hammer some caffeine, and then start the game. Some days, some days I'll just take some swings in the cage, come out and play. So I'm not, I think that's kind of why I haven't developed a a set routine is because I'm not very like I'm superstitious but I'm not like down to the wire like I'm very much adaptable to when things go wrong throughout the day or something happens so just making sure I'm ready by seven PD what's your favorite thing about playing in Akron for a second year favorite thing uh, you know I love the stadium it's amazing I love the outfield how big it is and uh, Chad or Clubby is incredible so I think that's a uh, it's a nice thing to come back to. Talk about Chase DeLauder a little bit. Huge breakout season over spring. Yeah, I mean, a fantastic spring for him. He, he really showed that he belongs um, on the field with the big boys. And, you know, let's hope that that continues when the lights are on here, when the, you know, when the standings count and the, the scores count. Uh, certainly not to discredit everything that he did in the spring. I think, if anything, it, it shows him. Um, and proves to himself that, that he belongs and for those around him at the big league level the guys that saw him every day I think you know, I think there's some excitement certainly surrounding him as a person and him as a player. How do you think a couple of players on the team hanging around the big guys up there in the majors influenced your team? I just think the ability to see the effort that they put forth every day um, their attention to detail and the intent with which they work is, is huge you see here and done any homework on me I think the amount of work that we put in on the field is probably second to none um, it's good to see them have an opportunity to watch the guys at the, at the elite level do that every single day and again their attention to detail and their focus every single day that every single rep matters and uh, for these guys that are so close that they can taste it it's good for them to see that in spring and, and be able to hopefully lean on those tenets and values that they saw early in spring and use that throughout the course of the season. What does it mean to you to have two female staff members on the staff now? I think it's awesome. And again, credit goes to the Cleveland Guardians. Uh, I think really thinking outside of the box and, and really helping folks in, uh, in our industry. And this is not just a male dominated sport. This is, this is open for everybody. And so I think it's just, it's fun to be a part of it. We get to be the biggest cheerleaders. We get to be the ones that see all the action that happened on the field. And, uh, and for having two female coaches is, is pretty special.